Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, this is our fourth session of the day, a very rich and full day of discussion. It's uh, a chance for us to take a bit of a step back, uh, take an overview of the things that have emerged in the course of our discussions in the course of this day. Uh, we're going to hear from uh, members of the planning committee who uh, have been participating all along in thinking about what we were trying to accomplish in this day and a half, listening uh, carefully and critically to uh, everything that's been said uh, over the course of this, uh, this day today. Uh, we're hoping that this session gives us all an opportunity to reflect on what's going to be most important tomorrow as we try to come to grips specifically with next steps for each of the key stakeholder groups. So this is a chance for us to see what did we derive from the discussion relevant to that and what do we need to reflect on perhaps even overnight individually or in our conversations before uh, tomorrow. I'm very happy uh, to have with me this uh, very distinguished and uh, excellent group of colleagues who uh, helped out uh, during the course of the preparation for the group. Uh, Benedict Kolber, who's just to my immediate left, is a, a faculty member at Duquesne University. We were just talking about our days uh, in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, where, uh, where I grew up and where he resides. Uh, uh, and uh, we're both very happy to be uh, holding down this end of the, of the, of the stage. Uh, next is uh, Richard Nakamura. Uh, familiar to many of us for many years uh, as the director of the Center for Scientific Review at the National Institutes of Health, a position from which he has now stepped down. Uh, but he hasn't missed a step in critical thinking about the issues that we are going to be discussing uh, today and tomorrow. And Richard, we're so happy that you are uh, here with us as well. Uh, Val de Vincent is the editor for research for science, and uh, in that uh, perspective, we'll bring again uh, the thinking from an individual who's very familiar with the good, the bad, and the ugly in scientific publication and give us a chance uh, to hear from that perspective as well. And Franklin Sayre is uh, the STEM librarian at uh, Thompson Rivers University and uh, has uh, in that role played a very active part in thinking about the ways in which science progresses and uh, the importance of the topics that we've been talking about of, uh, of transparency and rigor in the conduct of science. And we'll be very eager to hear uh, Franklin's impressions and thoughts and reflections on the day. If it's agreeable, I thought we would just uh, go in order around uh, the, uh, the stage, asking each in turn to offer their preliminary reflections, and then uh, we'll see what additional ideas emerge from those who are here and uh, try to wrap up with a clear notion of where we're going to head tomorrow. So with that, uh, let, me, uh, let me turn first here to Benedict. 